I think you reach a point in your play where Falcon players are more confident in being able to land these full punishes than the Pika players probably are at uh, hitting those hedge guards on a well-practiced Falcon player who's good at mixing up their recoveries. So it could certainly be a challenge for Doomtoom dealing with this Falcon. You see right here how he decides to go about the edge guard. He's going very deep there with the neutral air. That's gonna work out well. And this Henny going a bit crazy on the ledge, doing some pivot movement. Maybe trying to steal a stock with that, but it did not work out. He was able to. Gosh, what he... Lord Narwhal is joining my vicinity. We had a we had a second chair earlier, but I do not have a second chair. Okay. He's gonna say anything. Hello? Hey. Hello. Yeah, we got Lord Narwhal. Hello? Ah. So yeah, I was just saying, uh, I feel like at this level of play, Pikachu kind of uh, can lose to Falcon. Like, this is like the skill level where Falcon wins the hardest. Thing. It's where you're like just sort of reaching that mastery of the, the punish game with Falcon and like landing, stuff like that. And he did drop it there. But when it's 50 50. Yeah, sure. Which is the best that Falcon ever does in this matchup. Uh, if you say so. I honestly think Falcon wins it. Well. 69 to 96. Oh. Doom Tube sure doesn't think so. Taking that stock with Pikachu. He's got to survive here. This is kind of the hardest percent for Falcon, I find, where like you don't really have any strong links anymore off of safe neutral moves, but it also takes a bit longer to get Pika into that like percent where he's going to die off of a back air. So, yeah. Meanwhile, like Pikachu kind of always has the opportunity to do something like this. Going for the forder up here, he's dead, but it doesn't matter. Very smart from very smart from Noobtube to go underneath the stage. Getting up the idiot. Yeah. He recognizes that Falcon's only option to make it back is possibly uh, connecting the Ubbi on Pikachu, so he just Ubbi's underneath the stage to get away from it. Yeah, I think Pika at 90 is it's so difficult to deal with for Falcon under side flat, because you can't play the grab roar, because worst case scenario, you lose and you're dead. Best case scenario, you grab him, you get a back throw, and it doesn't get you anything. Yeah. He's just on the left side of the stage. Yep. Yeah, that's like the hardest percent for sure. If you don't nail that zero to death, then you can just spend so long trying to chase down that Pikachu and capitalize. And, I don't know, it just gets really tough. You have to like land a down air. Hit down air there. Very, very daring decision. Okay. Oh, forward to grab. He's going to go for the pivot. Oh, he just oh. hears him. It's not bad. Yeah. I think it does have a time, so he has a lot of recovery up. And now he's in this horrible situation again. Yeah, this is the hard part. Uh, landing a down air, I think, is really good here. Yeah, I, I fish for down air, fish for back air. I like to go to top flat and kind of threaten my approach and try yeah, to bait. You bait see him going for that down air. He eyes out. And see here, this doesn't kill, even from mid stage. Edge guard opportunity, though, and he gets it with the air. But Henny now up. Socks to do. Only taking 12% so far this game. It's looking very good. Well, that was a very long grab. Great zip zip to left. Attack. Mates the up man. Yeah, that's a classic. You two just waiting it out. Capitalizes. Takes a full stock off of that. No, only three stocks to do. Only a better position to be in if you're Pikachu. 
And he is looking for that grab right now. He's trying to up smash out a shield there. Super quick but, pressure with those short hop aerials. Yeah. Give him on the ledge. What's he gonna do? He gets jump grab. You can't contest that. Oh you, no. I know it's so tempting for Falcon, but yeah. you can't go out there. And he was doing so well start of this game. It's now just really a little too dangerous here. It's always so frustrating for Falcon. You want to speed up the matchup and the Pikachu wants to slow down the matchup. So you're trying to make something happen on the top ledge, but there's just there's nothing you can do. Back at that 100% range where it gets pretty tough for Falcon. And he plays back here, that's a kill. Yeah, okay, he finds it. Mid-stage backer and 100 gonna do it. Very even match right now, and he's gonna get out of this corner pressure though. Yeah, it's he gets you bearing in the corner. It's so tough. To oh my gosh, he actually makes it back, mixes it up a little bit on his recovery. Okay, he's fine. Great recovery. So many, so many options die there. Yeah. Oh, he gets the oh this is the grab. Oh, this is it. Yeah. Oh. And he takes this oh, Captain yeah. Falcon move. Evens it up. This game's winner is with the Captain Falcon move. Your rocket tell you about your twenty dollars, bro. Free for all. That was crazy that uh and he just did double grab in place and the second one worked. Like my my instinct was dash grab. He just did the standing grab and it grabbed Pika from so far away. Actually worked out for him. We could have get you a chair. This event isn't willing to shell out for a commentator chair. <laughs> This is a good spot. Oh, I think, I think one more up air land on flat, then go for another one. Yeah. The hook, That's a good edge guard, though. Yeah, he's gonna be hard. He like the, nice. Down air. Pikachu is such a big, fat pancake when he's recovering. This becomes very easy to hit. Oh. Um, I mean, that spot, I, I, don't, I don't feel bad about that if I'm him. You're dead there so many times anyway. Yeah. Here, Pikachu is hugging under the side plat. It's, it's a really strong position for him. It's because of this, what you're watching. Oh, and he <laughs> clipped him with the up air. He doesn't oh, go for ledge, though. Yeah, he wasn't confident that he was getting high enough with that first zip to oh, make it to back ledge. Air. Back air, not going to Again, I think Kumpi just killed him there. All right. I might be wrong. It's definitely stronger than back air. Now I respect the uh, decision. Just, see, here it is. Like, this back throw yeah. just gets you nothing. And you're, you're trying to... Trying to compete with Pika for a grab, and if he grabs you, it's, it's not. If you grab him, it's you know an edge guard situation. And he's he finding the hook options. on the side platform though. Yeah. Gets Pika back to zero percent again. This is your chance. Oh, to do you a need to land on that there. Yeah. Didn't drift back to the platform. Pika once again safe. Up B. There we go. Oh, Just Alfin's barely done. does it. Nice back air. Oh, he hates the up smash. Punishes it. Oh, wow, man. Nip Tube making a huge mistake there and giving him the grab. That's yeah. good. He delayed the uh, combo that time, but actually didn't finish it. He had the opportunity to double jump up there. Up to Oh, wow. Just really the recovery. <laughs> Kenny taking a 2 1 over Nip Tube. Definitely a high game. pressure matchup. Two one. We got Griffith sitting down. I'm not sure who his opponent is here. Do you know who that is? No. I'll go ask. Sorry.